27th. We had just a little bit of rain last night, finally. Uh, that's where we've been kind of dragging our feet. Um, it's been dry here. It's been dry. Uh, you know, we complained, complained all spring about the rain and the moisture over the winter. But then when we all fertilized anhydrous, well, of course, we get out there. It's a little wet. And we pack the hell out of the ground. And, uh, and we ridge it up a little bit. And it, 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 uh, we never got a rain to soften everything and flatten it down. So a lot of people are working their soil to, to get rid of the compact. Help, help break up at least the seed bed, get a good seed placement. Um, others like me, I was just kind of going anyways. I, I, I wasn't having that much of a problem, but I've only got an eight row. People with 16 rows and stuff, they were having problems with it flexing in there and not getting quite the down pressure they wanted. Get off of here, cat. I'm knocking my stuff all over. So, uh, need to rebuild my bean meters. I haven't done this ever on my planter. And, you know, beans are beans. I never worry too much about it. You know, beans used to be cheap and they really don't care about their spacing like corn and they'll make up for a difference. But it's annoying when you try and set it at 120, 30, 40, 50,000 per acre and uh, you never know what you're getting. You know, the monitors, I only trust the monitors so far on beans. It seems like they kind of, I'll set it for one thing. The monitor will show another, but then when I'm done and I count all the bags of beans or the totes of beans I've used, and I had what I had set at. So, I, but, but I, I've got a couple row units that I know, you know, when you look at it, you know, one, one row unit will have a lot more beans in it or one will be empty. And so I know it's not even, so. I went to John Deere, bought all the parts, and, you know, spend another $800, what the heck, you know. Um, so, uh, hang on. See if I can get this, uh, get this all taken apart here. Um, they're pretty simple to rebuild. Uh, you know, I'm sure... I rebuilt one of them already a long time ago, but we're just doing them. I don't remember which one that was. And again, that was probably four or five years ago. We're just gonna, so we take this off. Whoop. And again, these are, this is your little poker wheel. It uh, is the radial bean meter comes around. It kind of pokes. Let me put it this way so you can see. There we go. Kind of goes along to make sure it pokes the bean out. It's shot, so. Oh, give the cat something. Here's a new one. I don't know how much these are. You get parts, you just don't ask. You don't want to know. You just need them on some things like this. But there's a little screw you take out here. It comes with new screws, so and this screw's definitely got graphite or something. There we go. And that screw holds in this little flapper, which helps the beans come along and it helps push the beans down against the radial bean meter. And uh, I know I'm missing these on two of my row units. And we got this brush right here which is kind of the first part to help brush the beans off of it, make sure you only got singles and uh, any extra stuff off of there. Well, this one, it's shot. Uh, you know, here's, let's see here, here's a new one. And uh, shoot, you know, you can see it's getting pretty war. So, so we'll again, put these on, and you know, they're not that expensive. And buddy, get out of here. Okay, so now we take a screwdriver. On the back of here, you take that screw out. There's these little tabs. You just take a screwdriver, and usually I only have to take one off. There we go. And then that just kind of pops the rest off. And this brush, this, this brush is just shot. Same thing. Just time to throw it away. And then I clean out all the graphite that's in here. Uh, and here's one of the main culprits, they say, is this metal plate. And uh, as you can see, I got a heck of a groove where the beans just 
over the last, I don't know how many years, you know, I've had it and the previous person before, gets this groove war in here and then, I don't know, something happens and the beans just don't feed in or work like they should. So again, replace it. So you just take the new one and you kind of slide it in here, push it in. There, that snaps in. You got your new brush. You line it up. And it just snaps in. Uh, all right, now we put the, I gotta put this a uh, little poker wheel in. Again, that's easy. Put this on here. Fourteen millimeter. Now, the kit comes with like this little arm, a brush, and this new flapper. So after I did this a couple times, this arm has to go in here. Certain way it's got a little tab right here that slides into this groove. There we go. Put the brush in. And put this in, you put them all in the right way. Make sure you put them in the right way. Well, there's only one way you can really get them to go. And you swing that arm over and it should, there we go. Lock them all in place. It comes with a new screw. Screw in. But I don't have this in right. There. That's it. And you put your uh, radial cap on. We always set ours to, you know, there's different sizes on here. You probably can't see. There's an A, see if we can get this so you can see it. A, B, and C based on your seed size. We used to kind of worry about trying to set that. Now we just always put it on C. And it seems like all of our seed beans anymore are big. I was just looking at our seed bean size over there. And they're big. They're like 20, 2,500 seeds per pound, which is a big, you know, it used to be 3,600 seeds per pound. Well, a, a whole another thousand seeds per pound. You know, that's, that's a big difference in seed size. And, uh, you know, about everybody would rather have a little smaller seed size because it doesn't make any difference on the yield. Uh, or the seed vigor, vigor or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's just, you know, bigger seed, more stuff to handle. There we go, you just kind of clip that in. Just means a lot more product to handle. Heavier, if you, ha if you have bags, you know, then that's heavier bags. Uh, your seed totes just means it's heavier, you know. My forklift doesn't have a problem. It's an 8,000 pound forklift. But like the guy I just went and got a tote from, well, he uses his skid steer and his skid steer is only rated at like 3,500 pounds or something. I can't remember. It's just, you know, it, it, it's all it wants to do to move those. But, so anyways, we slip this back on, put those wing nuts. I kind of give it a couple turns, make sure it's, you know, everything's moving good. Cause I've had a couple I put together and then they, something wasn't put together right and I'd take it all apart and then it snapped together right, so. So there, we got eight of these to do. At least I only have an eight row planner. Could have a 16 
or one of those 16 slash 15s with the split rows or wherever they are. And uh, that'd be a lot of these to do, but good project. Too bad my kids aren't here. They could be doing this. <laughs>